Welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to have you guys here for another video um today i'll be addressing uh, a request by one subscriber who left a comment about how to align the darts for the top of your gown to the skirt darts of your gown so that's if you're if you have like a two pattern or off shoulder or you know whatever it is and you're trying to align it to the skirt darts that you have you know how to go about it so that's what i'll be addressing in this video and if you're a new subscriber hello welcome i hope you enjoy what you see i hope you stay i hope you just follow me you know on this journey so let's get to it i already went ahead to cut out my wording and i have already glued it to the doll face part of it that's the satin part of it um for any lace you're making you have to line it with a satin part so it's not like see-through and so that's what i already did and now i'm just like separating each piece um so that i can you know easily lay it all flat and join it together so now i'm just going to measure out half an inch on both sides um for like the mark of where i want my sewing line to start from you know the half an inch allowance that we need if you remember from the tube that pattern or from the off shoulder pattern you know we have a system where we go four three three four but because this lady is a little wider than that we can't use four inches for her bust point to bust point we have to use four and a half inches so that means the corresponding that after that is going to be three and a half inches um so that will just make it seven inches so that was what happened here so minus you know half an inch on both sides seven inches minus one you know we're getting six inches at the end of the day now that we know that the top that is about six inches and you want to connect that to the dart for the skirts you have to make sure that that distance is also um the same with the skirt so the same four three three four also extends to the skirt so um for this since it's three and a half inches it's gonna be three and a half inches you start with as your difference but i'll show you what it looks like with the skirt but for now i just want to join all these pieces together and then we're going to cross check if it, it truly is six inches at the end of the day i really hope you guys get it because i know that i said a lot of numbers but i hope you're able to follow my train of thought here So now that that is done the next thing is to go over to the skirt and do the same thing but this time we're going to be marking out um three inches three and a half inches and four inches i hope you would really get it but first of all let me first remove all the beads and everything else on this dress and like come back and then show you what this is okay those beads were horrible but now it's time to start marking out the points i was talking about so from the center of the skirt i made sure to pin the lace down properly because i don't want any of the three fabrics to like shift and then it's not you know accurate so 
most times I just pin them down properly. So the first thing I'm going to do now is mark three inches. This is because, this is because the distance between the two will end up being six inches, even though we are doing three um four and a half, three and a half, three and a half, and four and a half. The distance is going to be three inches because the half part of it is a sewing allowance, you know. So the distance is going to be three inches. Then we're going to still mark three and a half inches again and then four inches again. So we know that the center line is three and a half inches, but the sewing line is three inches. I really hope you get it. Um, so I, I went back down um, by eight inches and then I marked the center line, which is three and a half inches. So that will be the middle. And then I just made a V shape and then made sure to pin, you know, those points well so that, like I said, it doesn't shake and it doesn't shift. So that's really majorly what it is. So I'm just going to do it, pin it and then show you guys what it's looking like. that is done and you've confirmed your measurements you make sure to finish up your skirt so you make it a whole skirt without the zip and then do your blouse part as well without the zip knowing that you just need to join the waist together and then do your zip after that at this point i'm just trying to make sure that everything aligns everything is correct i've cross-checked all the measurements i've done everything i need to do and now i'm just trying to make sure that the lining um that i use for the blouse is even with the actual measurement you get and then i'm just gonna pin it all together so that it doesn't move so what you're gonna do after this is that you're gonna make sure that you align all the dots together and pin them all together now this is just a lot of pinning you're gonna do before sewing you align everything you pin it up so front dot to front dot back dot to back dot side seams to side seams and make sure everything stays in place just a tip um when using your industrial machine i don't know if you guys notice it or if it's just me um sometimes when sewing the bottom piece that i'm trying to join to the top piece kind of, kind of moves forward so you have to make sure that you're really using your finger to press down on your fabric so that everything stays in place um even with this one it happened even with joining this it happened but anyway i'll just show you guys
falling, uh, secret loving, uh, oh I'm falling, uh, falling, uh, falling, uh, secret loving, uh, oh I'm falling, uh, falling, oh I'm falling, your body act make me throw it, your body make me throw it, make me throw it, I'm falling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm falling, your body yeah, make me throw it Your body make me throw it, yeah, yeah, yeah Okay, so at this point, all we have to really do is iron, put the zip, you know, finish up the sewing um, line um, by either whipping or using a bias to turn it over. You know, all those little things. So we have really come to the end of it and this is what it's looking like. Thank you so much for supporting. If you guys like this song, the song is by a friend of mine. His name is Holly Jason. I will put the link to his songs in the description so you guys can listen and check him out. Um, I think I would also put his Instagram for you guys to see. He's, a, he's actually a very fine person. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying to the end. Please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe. And I hope I have answered any of your questions so far. Please leave a comment on what you want to see next. Um, yes, that is it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.